Bermuda is another world And I don't mind waiting On this special edition of Music World, Noisy and Bacardi send me to uncover the mystery of the Bermuda Triangle by visiting the three points, Puerto Rico, Miami, and of course, Bermuda. You may know me as Mr. Green from Live from the Streets, airing on Noisy. Each episode, I collaborate with one of my favorite vocalists to record local sounds and produce an original track capturing the bold flavor of the region. The third stop on our trip is Bermuda. By my side in paradise is the Midwest born, New York City bred, and LA based master of styles Conway. We're doing a treasure hunt looking for the untamed, the organic, the unexpected, the real Bermuda. 103 FM, Bermuda's energy station. Time is three minutes past the hour of 11 o'clock. You're locked to Bermuda's only energy station. This is Vibe 103 FM and this is the Groove Control segment. Your truly Sid James taking you to the two o'clock hour. I just want to say I have a very special show for you guys today. I have a beautiful young lady who is co-hosting with me today. What's up, Bermuda? This is Conway. I'm here doing a documentary with Vice and Noisy, just sampling some sounds from the island. and. Ah indigenous, native, mysterious sounds. To do uh, some awesome music with Mr. Green, we're gonna make a really dope song. We're gonna get into this track, it's called what? Hustler. Hustler, and this yeah. was off of your first EP. This is off the first EP called Big Talk. Okay, here we go, Thank it's you. Vibe 103. Oh, kick drum. So we're rolling through Thomas More's jungle. Um, he was an Irish poet, singer, entertainer, all around kind of Renaissance guy who lived on this island. It's all spice. It smells exactly like um, Thanksgiving. And that's a kiss kitty, apparently. I just learned that that bird makes that noise. One more time. Thank you. Cool, I got it. Beautiful sound. That's exciting. So we're standing um, next to some caves. Oh my god. But this place has crazy echo. Let's put that thing in the water. All right, cool. Whoop! Smash. Do a couple dips for me. Bermuda, it's a British territory founded by the survivors of a shipwreck who actually stuck around because the weather was banging and they just didn't want to leave. Just a little tiny island of about 20 square miles, but it has a surprising musical history. Maintaining and evolving the tradition has become the big time mission of Bermuda's unofficial Minister of the Arts, my boy Gavin Smith. How do we create that local music scene and start to really cultivate the Bermuda voice? Yeah, it's not easy. As far as Bermuda music goes, this is a historic location then? Yeah. But it takes character. Legend right here. <laughs> I don't feel like it. <laughs> I shine my light into your life. All the guys from Arthur Foundation, but they would come here as kids and watch one of our other iconic musicians, Curtis Clark, who was based out of her in the uh, early 60s. He was famous for teeth in the guitar, for like really shredding on stage. Him and the guitarist from the eyes, they hit it off. And um, that guitarist was Jimi Hendrix. What do you think the most important sounds of Bermuda are? Ha. Huh. Combis. When the gun bears come around, there's no telling what's going to happen. Crowds of people follow the gun bears from one end of the island to the other. It's, it's so awesome. It's real awesome. 
I am third generation Gombe in Bermuda. My family is a Gombe family. Right. The format came from West Africa to wherever slaves were dropped off. Why covering the face? Well, during the time of slavery, this was taboo. We weren't supposed to be able to have any type of fun. So in order right. for us to escape that fellow right there, which is the whip, yep. we had to hide ourselves. The rim shot basically calls out the different routines that they're going to be using. Freedom dance. <laughs> Pretty intense. Pretty intense. Mm -hmm. Because if it's not intense, it's a lot more work to move. You see the intensity. It helps the spirit to soar. Yeah. Let me hear the rhythm of the gumbe. Let me see them jump and break away. Take my money, drink my rum, but don't stop the beat of that <laughs> gumbe drum. <laughs> So we're leaving uh, Port Hamilton and going to check out some proper yacht life out here in Bermuda. So I know it looks like we're slacking off, but we're not. We're actually in search of some shipwrecks since we are in the shipwreck capital of the Atlantic here in Bermuda. The captain of our ship is actually just steering us out into the middle of the vortex. It feels like that weird celestial, like so beautiful it gets creepy. Bermuda Triangle. Woo! Apparently it's very dangerous what we're about to do. So it's a tradition here that kids jump off the cliffs into the water. It is low tide, so we're going low level for safety reasons and because I have no idea what I'm doing. Um, yes, I do. I totally know what I'm doing. I'm gonna record the splash sound. Three, two, one. All right. So when, when the fishermen would catch a bunch of fish, they would blow into this thing to let the world they'll know. Go, no, they go around the neighborhoods. Yeah. And when outside your house, you know they'd be like. Pretty... <laughs> 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 no, that's cool. That's good. Not your everyday trip. I'm definitely feeling spiritual right now. It's definitely a miracle to be able to stand on the edge of the water and see a sunset like this. and be pretty much in the middle of nowhere and have him feel totally calm. 28 minutes past the hour of 11 o'clock. You're locked to Bermuda's only energy station. This is Vibe 103 FM and this is the Groove Control segment. Her name is Conway. Her music is absolutely awesome. What inspires you as a musician to write? Usually whatever is going on with me emotionally. Got you. You know, that's always been the way to get This is the fun part for me, honestly, is going through all the sounds that were recorded and finding that one little piece. I don't know, I just love it. We've got a drum from the gombe guy. So with that uh, gombe kick drum and then yeah. your natural kick drum. That's the kick drum. That's Jules, let's use Jules. And then a little bit of the Kiska E birds. I don't mind. Hey. 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 And I don't mind waiting. Hey. 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 is enough. Hey. I spend my time waiting. I don't need that whip no more I don't need that whip no more I don't need that whip no more uh, 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 I'm waiting I'm waiting Beauty is enough I spend my time 
After spending some time in Bermuda and the entire Bermuda Triangle, I think I have some new insight on the whole mystery of the place. Basically, the locals here like to say that there really is no mystery. In reality, it's just a spot where people pass through and they don't want to leave because it's like paradise. And the rest of the world can kind of feel far away, almost like a memory. Like when you're in Bermuda, you forget what the rest of the world is like. I'm waiting. <laughs>